I'm going to show you how to do this cool masking effect in Premiere Pro. This allows text to hide behind an object, maybe a person that's walking through your scene. This is a really cool effect that adds a lot of intrigue to your vlogs or cinematic videos. And it's definitely something we're going to start using more here at Editor's Keys. So let's jump straight in. Now, just to note, this is definitely done best when you use a static shot, which is on a tripod. If you film something that's handheld, it makes it a lot more tricky to do this in post, so definitely plan ahead if you can. Press the T tool to create a text layer and type out the word that you want to display. Go into effects controls over here to make changes to the font, the color, and the size. Now place these two layers above your first clip and stretch them out so they fit the duration of your clip. Now select your video clip and hold down the option key to copy and paste it and drag it one layer above. First, position your playhead just before the person arrives at the text. Next, select the top video clip layer and access the effects controls. Locate the draw mask tool and then use it to create a mask around the person. What we want to do is we want to make sure we're focusing only on the parts of the body that will be in front of the text. This definitely saves a bit of time. Once the mask is set, enable keyframes by clicking the keyframe icon. Now cut the clip using Command plus K and remove the section before the person enters the frame. Take your time here to make sure you've got the precise alignment for the best results. Now move your playhead a few seconds into around here. What we wanna do is move the mask so it fits over your subject again. Now, to make this effect the best you can, take some time in making sure the mask is perfect. You can add more points by clicking on the line, so just make sure the mask is really nicely lined up. To see more clearly, just disable the text track by clicking this eye icon here. And if you want to zoom in, click this drop down box here and select 150% to get a more accurate look. Now that's done, move a few seconds in and repeat the process. Keep doing this until the person gets fully past the text. And I'm gonna do just one more here. And now for the last frame, just drag the mask over like this. And then you can press Command and K again to cut this and just delete the end of the clip. Now to make this smoother and to look really, really good, what I'd recommend doing is looking at your keyframes, improving it in between each keyframe, and if you want, add more keyframes in there so you can get a much more accurate, smoother mask. Now, before we wrap this video up, let me tell you about this amazing keyboard cover from Editor's Keys. It's a Premiere Pro shortcut keyboard cover that fits perfectly on your Mac and shows you all of the shortcuts you need to edit like a pro. It's gonna save you hours of time in the edit and make you and your clients happy. Plus, it keeps your Mac clean and safe from dust and spills. Best of all, you can also wash it anytime you want. So how cool is that? If you want to grab one of these, go to editorskeys.com or check the link in or around this video. Now back to the tutorial. So now all you have to do is drag this layer above your text layer and boom, there you go. How good does this look? You know what? We're not finished yet. Zoom in from here and really fine tune the parts that overlap like this here and just make sure you tweak them. I'm going to go through and quickly fix these up. And there you go, to make it smoother, I'm going to change the mask feather to about 10%. And there you go, I think this is looking pretty great. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below as we do get back to every single comment or question asked. Now, if you wanna learn more about masking or see some other ways you can use this technique, check out this video up here and I'll see you in that video.